Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. All right. There's some type of ending, the death energy. Uh, there is an ending that, you know, at some point it was required. Uh, cart flew all the way on the floor. Let's see what it is. It flew in the upright. I'm going to try to get it. Dreams, yep. So there is an ending of something that you have been dreaming about. Um, death energy is could be a good thing when it comes to you thinking that something is going to happen. Uh, when it comes to, you know, temporary emotions or emotions that you felt that needed, uh, that you thought would be, yeah, there was hidden truths there. So again, there was some type of uh, jealousy. Yeah, there's a rebirth. So again, death is endings that bring new beginnings and which is a rebirth you see a little baby born and then you see a waiting game so the universe just said wait the unseen will be here everything that's hidden will come to the light and the good news will start to just trickle in but you have to be patient when it comes to dealing with certain things and it's hard when you're emotionally attached to a situation that's why i'm going to pull from the true emotional deck um because you know even though we want our dreams to be to come true or we want we see potential in certain situations sometimes the universe uh gets you away from the things that no longer serve you and they reveal the hidden the mask start to come off um and you get to see who your you know enemies are and it says hidden true intentions being two-faced time to work in silence and that's the waiting game and the unseen it says working behind the scenes not seeing the full picture um it says the blessings you don't see magic happens behind the scenes and good news so that's what's happening you'll be hearing good news uh but based upon that we're gonna pull and see what your emotions are or what kind of energies that were you were dealing with yep closing the cycle look at that uh you can't see i just moved my desk hold on let me pull this back down yeah closing the cycles so uh basically you had to close one cycle as one door opens another one as one door closes, another one opens. Workplace affairs. So closing cycles and workplace affairs. So either you have been dealing with somebody that's been a cheater, like in plain sight, but you weren't really trying to see things for what they were. Um, could be workplace, could be more of a business situation, but anything, anyway, yeah, the karmic's highs. Some Everything is coming when I saw this, <clears throat> it looked it weird, but it's a knife sideways. But uh, karmic ties, yeah, you're going to release the karmic ties that um, no longer serve you. And if it's third-party energies or if it is something, yeah, I'd hustle. You Okay, side hustle. I'm sorry, I said I'd because I didn't see the dollar sign. So, yeah, side hustle, on and off, code and detach. This is the type of energies that you've been dealing with. Somebody that has karmic ties, but the universe is revealing things to you um, as we speak. Hold on, I need to drink some water. I have been drinking lemon juice. Not lemon juice, but lemon water. Uh, I just drunk some right before I started recording. And so, basically, the universe is saying that if this work uh, life situation isn't working out, your side hustles will. Your work uh, situation is on and off, hot and cold, and it makes you feel detached like there's no future. If this has to do with work or if this has to do with a relationship, there's things that's hidden in play, plain sight. Remember on Baby Boy when um, uh, Taraji P. Henson was like, uh, you dealing with people at my job or whatever she said. Um, but basically that's where the, you know, it was it was like hidden in plain sight. But you have to, these types of things, give you the um ability to move forward even though it's hurtful it gives you the ability to move forward when especially when it comes to working on yourself and doing things that you need to do and stepping out and doing things for yourself if that makes sense and so that's kind of how i see that i'm gonna pull from um the money blockage deck let me see i got it i have the money blockage deck i have the manifest success 
uh, deck um, and this other deck, this gold deck. It's all by Midnight Oracle. Um, I put them all together. So I'm going to pull from these card decks to see if this is really about your money or if this is just about the change that you needed and the uh, endings that bring new beginnings. And so, uh, uh, yeah, signs is in the reverse. So even though there were signs right in front of you, you chose not to see them. The signs in the reverse is the Finks the hieroglyphics or the finks or whatever it says you are putting together pieces of the puzzle you didn't want to because what your dreams were were to have this happy long you know uh long relationship or situationship or job that would last and you would be able to retire from but in actuality you weren't happy about the situations and so uh bottom of the deck let's see what it is bottom of the deck is butterflies yep so you have to be a caterpillar before you become a butterfly and that's sometimes the way the universe works but we have to be reborn into something beautiful when there is something uh that we are at odds with we have feeling greedy we have safe have have to suffer and then we have skull and then we have the candle so feeling greedy is you can have what you want if life would if excuse me in life without feeling guilty so you wanted all of this this uh the beautiful job the beautiful relationship but with those situationships and nothing lasts forever but not when it comes to you dealing with karmic energies especially because the universe has a tricky way of putting things in plain sight but also not even that revealing them to you when it's time and so when it comes to the waiting game, it the universe says, work on your side hustle. So you could be at this place and people could be in third party situations. You could be ignoring the signs, but feeling bad because you've been so you're so loyal to a situation that you don't want to leave. You would rather stay in a situation which you're comfortable with. But the universe is like, nope, breaking the chains. You have to suffer. Um, it says you don't have to you don't have to struggle don't suffer so it says that's how you feel like if i do this i'm gonna suffer because they're gonna need me to do this and do that no when one door closes another one opens and they'll find someone to replace you vice versa whether it be a relationship situationship whatever it is the easiest thing it is uh, that any that you could do which may seem like it's hard is to walk away from things that bind you. And so that's where the karmic energy comes in at. And sometimes we're afraid to use those side hustles and knowing the things that we have the talents to be able to do. So it says you don't have to struggle, don't suffer, celebrate. Money comes easy to me. So if you know that money comes easy to you, you shouldn't feel greedy or feel like you are um, – what you can't have what you want your cake and eat it too and that's a lot of reason why is you ignore what a lot of the reason why you ignore the uh, signs and the skull is here it says rough patch borrowing money low on cash a career is hospice a healer no work and reinvention reinventing yourself when it comes to your side hustles healing you heal several karmic energies in your lifetime however you have to realize that the ambition that you have, it take you have to take action. It says hustle here, manifest money. And the career says management, high rank, visibility, and athletic. So if those energies make sense to you, this is what you're understanding, that you don't have to suffer. You don't have to feel like you're being greedy. You have to pay attention to the signs and also know that when you are reinventing yourself, there will be rough patches. There will be a lot of borrowing things. Uh, you'll be low on cash. But the thing about it, you know, you watch if you're in the career of hospice or any type of health care or not having a job or learning how to reinvent yourself, you have to realize that. Sorry, that's my garage. Um, you have to realize that, you know, you are watching people struggle when all you need to do is to understand what the butterfly is sudden change and frivolous spending short-term loans careers arts movement temp jobs and fun work 
this is what makes you happy is that that's the rebirth those small little trinkets of successful energies where this energy is going to cause you to feel heavy and weighed down but you have to be able to reinvent yourself and get out of that hot and cold energies of dealing with karmic energies whether it be a workplace even the side hustles that uber eats you can go outside when you need to and make the amount of money that you need to make and come back in when you feel like it or when you have reached that goal at these places here and that's why it's better for you just to close some cycles when you're feeling trapped and weighed down and feeling like you're still robbing peter to pay paul you have to realize that this energy here is better than this energy so you have to learn how to manifest and how to put things into perspective and see things from a different light and me being self-employed for so long i've had to look at things and say okay and the way i see things is if just say for instance i'm gonna give you an easy number if somebody makes twenty dollars an hour right you're really not making $20 an hour. Let's say 15 you're making an hour, right, after you take out the taxes. So just let's just equivalent to 20. You make $20 an hour. What can you do in an eight-hour span, and what can you sell that's $20 every hour within an eight-hour period in the 24-hour day? What can you do? Can you go and ride in the car for an hour, and make $20 through Uber Eats Um, because with this you have to put the taxes aside with this they tax you up front and you have to put into consideration the gas the hours it takes to get there the eight hours you have to spend there and the energies that you have to deal with while you're there if that makes sense and so when I talk to people about business and when I talk to people about them transitioning over to become self-employed that's one of the things I'm giving you guys a trinket. That's one of the things that I talk about. Like, you know, all money isn't good money, but sometimes you have to understand that the on and off, uh, hot and cold and detached energies. Um, excuse me. Um, those are the ones I know what it is. I ate, (laughs) I ate some other potatoes and I had, um, I had, I made some other potatoes and what is it? Chicken breast. Uh, this morning for my boys uh, and what was it I put I put um, sour cream on there and I don't ugh. anyway so that's what it's caused me to feel that way but anyway so the thing is is that you shouldn't have to suffer especially when it comes to people holding over your head what it is so here's with the side hustles or with just doing things on the side instead of going to a nine to five if you don't make money that's on you Nobody is held accountable for it but you. But just imagine you're being the butterfly and you have this sudden change and it's, you know, you're realizing either that you're spending frivolously on things that you don't need to, to, to re, uh, to, to, um, what am I trying to say? To make yourself feel better or you disconnect from this negative energy and you start to do things that, will be short term um, and also you'll be able to have movement and have temporary jobs something that's not so permanent and it's fun for you so you ask yourself that so that's where I feel like you came out of a situation with that being said I'm gonna pull from this card deck Um, this card deck is it's like a clown um, it's like a finance type of deck to you know, give or take, and this is tarot, so I'm pulling from this card deck to see what the actions are, so high priestess in the reverse, so yeah, okay, so with the high priestess being in the reverse, you have to understand that sometimes, my cards don't want to come out, with with the high priestess in the reverse, you have to understand that there's hidden agendas in certain things, and you need to listen to your inner voice, and when you block the signs out, you're not doing that, so the high priestess in the reverse would normally just be you listening to your instincts but this is you blocking your instincts out um i wish you could see that uh you know here you're the the 
the person who people are listening to, you're facilitating meetings and things like that. But in actuality, it's like you have to be able to listen to your instinct and you're not doing that by ignoring the signs. And so you have to have confidence in whatever it is that you move forward towards. And this is the five of wands. So in this in this card deck, there is four different uh, situations. This is somebody planting a um, planting the seed of in a orange field. I'm going to cut this light off. Mm, that's too. Oh, it's the light behind me or on the side of me that's making it blurry like that but this person is planting the seed an orange seed an orange in an orange field so what they did is they went to ask the person who owns this land hey if i go and um it, can i can i border barter with you if i plant these beautiful oranges you can have as many oranges as you like once the crop comes in but um if not you know i'll work hard on them and you'll see uh growth within your land and also you'll have a share of the 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 fruit and everything but the five of wands energy being here you have to understand that when it comes to conflict and disagreements or adversity you have to know how to deal with that and so that is where you have to look at things from a different perspective a different light and sometimes it's hard to do but that's where the conflict comes in at when you feel like okay i'm always having to fight the hot and cold on and off the karmic energies or with this person, this is them, all the things that they worked hard for, somebody is coming to take it. In this case, the clown is trying to do the job of getting the crows to get away from the crops. And with that being said, the Queen of Pentacles energy is here. So with the Queen of Pentacles, you have to understand that you can have your cake and eat it too. However, if you're steady giving to a situation, then that's not going to be the case. You won't, you won't be able to... Uh, flourish and to be able to nurture nurture you know anything or provide any stability for yourself because you start to feel greedy or feel guilty and feeling like you have to suffer because everybody else is suffering because they are in karmic situations and so that's what happens when you ignore the signs and you don't listen to your intuition or your instincts these cards came out the way they did i'll take them the nine of cups energy is letting you know that once you flourish into this butterfly and have this new rebirth the nine, did I say nine of pentacles? I, I meant to say nine of cups if I said the nine of pentacles. Once you flourish and get into the nine of cups energy, which is you having, you know, your rewards and being able to emotionally be st stable, um, the emotional stability is everything because at some point you won't feel this way. You won't feel that way because you know that you worked hard for this situation, justice, the consequences of your actions, meaning that whatever you dissected, dissected in your lab or in your mental by doing the right thing is coming to um, um, flourish. But the two of wands energy, you have to make a decision, you know. So this is what the crop looked like when the clown first got the job. The clown had to make a decision like, what should I plant? What, what should I do, you know, when it comes to the two of wands energy, me and making a decision, either you plan to fail or fan to, what is it, plan to fail or fail to plan. So that is where that energy comes out at when you decide to go in a different direction. And then we have the hangman energy. So what would you do for money? Look at this uh, stripper guy. He is looking at the exit door. The money is being thrown. He's not happy. He's like acting like it's fine he's on a pole but hangman energy is just letting you know that you know you're in limbo you're in limbo trying to figure out if this money thing is what you want and so this is you have you this is you surrendering to and um to this um karmic energy or the things that you don't want to do again you have to let your ego and pride go in order to start something new because right now the star energy you have to be able to pour into your own cup. And this is you making magic, being optimistic that your magic trick is going to happen, that you'll be able to one day create, you know, um, the things that you want, uh, star energy, be optimistic. But it also is you understanding that when it comes to you having faith, that's where you will flourish. And then the King of Pentacles shows his face. So we not only have the high priestess energy and the queen of pentacles, we have the king of pentacles. And the king of pentacles is somebody who's willing to take risk. You have to be able to take risk. And this is you having discipline. And this is you 
uh, showing leadership and this is you being abundant in every situation and this is you being able to manifest the things that you want to be able to believe in yourself and to take action and to be a visible uh, to it says visibility but high rank and that's how you become this king of pentacles type energy which they're sitting on their yacht and people are you know sh sh serving them uh, where the queen of pentacles is here and the queen of pentacles is on our way to the king of pentacles but this is either a mental mind shift or you understanding that you can have whatever you want you can have whatever you like but the queen of wands here you see that fruit tree right the fruit tree is here because this is an idea that she could have brought to the king of pentacles you know we always come up whether male or female us cancers are creators we're free thinkers and we're able to come up with certain ideas but this guy probably didn't know that uh this was something that could even be possible he probably didn't know that he probably just was like i don't know if we're going to be able to do that because and she's like look there's this person i know at work look it's a different lady though but there's this person i know at work um her and her husband own you know all of these acres and it's just sitting there and it's not doing anything you have a green thumb so if we just go ahead and start to build ask them and make a decision to ask them if we can use their land you see the house back there if we can use their land in order to uh, help them help us then we can be great but we have to have the confidence and be able to come up with an idea in order to move forward if that makes sense and then so we have the moon energy this is you being optimistic this is having sleepless nights but it also is letting you know to remember where you came from and to remember who you are you know Mufasa energy because if you look at this you would see a teddy bear in the moonlight but if you really look deep your mind could be playing tricks on you and that could be a scary face right so your mind could be playing tricks on you and you can be overthinking a situation when it can all work you know it can all be so simple you know it's illusion it's fear and it's anxiety so if you just let go of that anxiety and allow the subconscious to help you get through this situation then you won't have any issues but your insecurities have to get out you have to move your insecurities and understand that i believe in myself and those small little trinkets that you do when it comes to having these ideas are the reason why you're able to manifest and a lot of people get mad at you because things come to you you know i don't chase i tra i track what's for me will find me will simply find me i said the affirmation that which came off of TikTok or instagram or something like that but that's an affirmation that we um, should be saying daily but we sometimes talk ourselves out of the situations that make us feel bad because you're flourishing and you know you have the ability to have your cake and eat it too and you have so many things in your mind and this could be us but you tripping remember this all comes from a simple seed and so you have to have the confidence to be able to say what it is that you want queen of wands energy the queen of wands and i'm going to read you the queen of wands and i'll read you the queen of pentacles and i'll read you also the king of pentacles which is what i learned a quote that i learned when i was learning you know the meanings of tarot um the queen of wands says uh and this is her the queen of wands says um confidence shines from inside when you love yourself own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think so here's the thing you have this idea you dress up you might have the kids in the back this small rinkety dink car because you have the you see the potential in what this uh orange tree could do but here's the thing even if this person right here this could be the husband like okay hold on because i know somebody like this and that's crazy but this is a situation to where it's not crazy it's, it's a good thing because this guy worked here and this girl had an idea on how to flourish right and now she he listened to her she believed in this his um his uh what is it um backing or um belief in her 
and what she could accomplish, he watched her work on this and listen to her, justice, energy, consequences of your actions, listen to her be able to see something, have optimistic energy, see something that could happen. And so he had to make a decision. Am I going to constantly be unhappy or am I ready to let all of her, um, all of the, what is it, knowledge that she's obtained over the years and experience get us to where we're both happy? And that's a decision that each couple and each individual needs to make. And until this happens to where somebody backs you, whether male or female, and you make the decision to say, here's my ideas, here's the things that I want to do, can you back me or can you support me without being shot down by you speaking what it is that you want in the beginning and not feeling bad. Now let's go back to the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. I know this is a little bit longer read, but I think this is a really good read. So confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. So if you were to say in the beginning to Stripper John, hey, I love you. I know I've been working hard on this idea right here. I've been working hard on this idea. I see a vision, but we have to make it work. We have to work hard. We have to quit our jobs, and we have to be able to get this Sally and John or, or and Eric to agree to let us board, barter with them, it's an idea that happens. But this is why when you stop blocking your intuition and feeling like nobody is going to support you, but that's in the beginning of this relationship or any situationship. And so the Queen of Pentacles says, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no, no matter what. So if you were to do this on your own, right, and this John wasn't, or John wasn't willing to go with you, you would start to feel like I can't leave them behind. And you would start to feel like you were being greedy and that you had to suffer in order to have this, your cake and eat it too. Does that make sense? And so that is when the King of Pentacles energy comes out and you have to say what it is. The King of Pentacles is... Um, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. And so that is where what you have to do. Sometimes you have to sacrifice and let go of the things that are karmic to you and go from there, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how I see that, and I, I spent a lot of time to understand why you have to close karmic cycles out and why you have to practice the four agreements and also understand your chakras and also listen to the game of life and how to play it. Life is about manifesting the things that you want and becoming a butterfly, you know, becoming a butterfly and sometimes endings bring new beginnings. And, you know, you can do anything if you believe in yourself, but in the game of life and how to play it, they say if you believe it's one thing, but if another person believes, then that's another thing. And as long as somebody can see you moving forward and somebody believes in your success, then it will happen. But if you're the only one believing and you have a one-sided situation or you're in a job that doesn't believe in you, then sometimes that's the reason why there are endings that bring new beginnings. And I think that's why the death card came out and the truth is coming out because, again, the rough patches bring out the good and the bad in certain situations, if that makes sense. And so the butterfly and the candle is what you need to understand. You have the ability to manifest things, but you also need to have sudden change. And that's where the endings, the endings bring new beginnings to be able to go after your dreams. I'm recording. Okay. Sorry about that. My son had to tell me something, but yeah, so that's, where it all starts to make sense and then i keep singing lauren hill it can all be so simple y'all know i can't sing but you know what i'm saying like everything can be so simple 
with just a little bit of communication. And when I was saying about the game of life and how to play it by Foreign Scovel's Chin, I don't get any credit, but it's in the link. Um, that's one thing that you have to understand. It could be so simple, but you'd rather play the game. But if in the beginning, if you talk to John about your dreams, right, your dreams, there won't be anything hidden. And I'm, I'm going to put these here. There won't be anything hidden when it comes to how you feel. So I think I want to clarify. I'm sitting here right now. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm going to clarify. Doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it at? The decision. And also the King of Pentacles. Because the good news comes. But it might be not the way that you want it if things aren't working the way that you need them to. Excuse me. I dropped the card. So this all it's all about manifestation. And so no matter how much this is heavy, you using all of your energy every day to reinvent the wheel, to redo the relationships, the hot and cold, that's how I want to see it. The hot and cold relationships, the, all of that stuff is a lot when it comes to you trying to be optimistic about a situation, if that makes sense. So that's where the hot and cold comes in at. It's a lot to deal with. Now, let me go ahead and hold on. I'll put those there. No, I won't. Hold on. I'll put those over here. And then I'm going to clarify. But, yeah, I just believe that. When it comes to you being able to manifest the life that you want, I'm going to clarify the hangman and the justice because justice is consequences of your actions. Hangman energy, and this could be your energy or it could be just, it could be all your energy or it can be your energy with some a significant other, a situation. It could be your energy with a job, but it all takes endings in order to bring new beginnings. So it's not just me looking at one-sided situations, but you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But again, when it comes to the hangman energy, you have to surrender. So let's clarify hangman. Somebody has to surrender and compromise. Let's go go to the hangman. Hangman energy comes with the page of swords and the page of cups. So here's the thing. These are all new energies. These are energies of learning. So the page of cups energy, or let's talk about the page of wands. Page of wands is yesterday. It's history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy. So in this present moment, this is where John is, or this is where you are. You're in limbo. And also the page of cups energy. Page of cups is letting your imagination run wild. Imagination is the fuel of, of the dreams and the dreams that fuel creation. So just imagine you're doing this, you know, and this is a young energy. This is a learning energy that's happening and you turn around and you're like, let's go. Then Drake energy comes out, which is the Knight of Wands energy. You only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. That's the energy that's happening right now. You know, if you just say what it is that you want in the beginning. Let's clarify the Justice card. Let's clarify the Justice card. All right. The Justice card comes out with the Knight of Swords energy. So consequences of your actions right justice card is also you know you being able to do the right thing or do what makes you happy but the knight of swords energy be tough be ambitious know what you want you see this is the energy of somebody that knows what she wants school whatever it is a job know what you want go after it in a single-minded wait a minute let me read it over be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination so that is where if you stick to your goals and you say what it is in the beginning from any situation or you keep you you keep it in front of you in sight so that you can know what it is that you're going after star energy being ambitious or also having um, faith in a situation um, is where you need to be yeah to be able to take a leap you're gonna have faith and be able to take a leap because when it comes to the six of swords you're going to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. That's what you have to learn. You have to unlearn to relearn. And that's walking away from the things that no longer serve you or that doesn't have a belief in you or doesn't have faith in you. 
Does that make sense? So if somebody doesn't have faith in you and what you want to do or love the way you love or feel the way you feel, or if you're not um, speaking to this person and letting them know um, this is what I want because you see the potential and then you're not communicating with them and saying um, the things that you really want to do and the rewards that you want, the decision is yours that you have to make because this could be us, but you're tripping. And that all comes with, I'm putting that up there like that. I hope that don't drive you crazy. Um, making a decision. So Queen of Pentacles, in, excuse me, the Two of Swords energy. Two of Swords energy comes out with the Two of Pentacles, a decision on top of a decision. Two of, two of Wands energy, making a decision. Two of Pentacles energy, same energy. Many priorities, adapting. This is you, you know, understanding the time management. You have to make a decision on what it is that you want. And so you have to know which way you want to go. And that's just basically that. So the decision is yours. But when it comes to taking, excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles, I'll do the Queen of Pentacles first. Yep, this is it. The Queen of Pentacles has to get over her insecurities, his or her insecurities. And that's when it comes to conflict, when it comes to having clarity of the conflicts and the insecurities. So, again, the decisions that the Queen of Pentacles has to make has to be when it comes to the conflict. And that goes back to where we were with this energy. Sorry. With this energy, feeling like you have to suffer because nobody sees your worth and you have to, you're, you're afraid to close the karmic cycles out because of the fear that you put in your head by the moon energy, but you feel like you're being greedy because you want this jet. So here's how I see it. As soon as you get the jet, they're going to be like, oh yeah, uh, cancer thinks they're better than me because of this. But no, you felt like you had to suffer. That's why you need to communicate the right way. And the King of Pentacles taking risk. So this could be just your energy. You you talking to yourself, taking risk because the star being in the reverse just lets you know right here. This is having a lack of faith. You have to get over your insecurities, the conflicts, and having the clarity of why you have a lack of faith of being great. You don't want nobody to see you great. And and I understand that. We like to sit in the back, but that on and off again, energy having to reinvent the wheel of somebody and that's where this comes at the steering wheel is here and it's like kind of like the wheel of fortune type thing but or the um what is it called uh yeah the wheel of fortune is what i'm trying to say um it's like you're going around and around and around and around until you leave you use that that wheel to get you out of there to guide you out and so having a lack of faith, the star in the reverse, you know, or um, feeling like discouraged is why you won't get to this point until you get out of this energy and have clarity, King of Wands energy. So the King of Wands and become the King of Wands energy. So that's where the clarity comes in at is that you have to get out of this conflict that you're having with yourself about all your insecurities. You have to make the decision and you have to have faith and you have to understand that when it comes to you being you discouraging yourself, you don't have to suffer or feel greedy because you can have it all. You just want to do it with someone else or wait for somebody else to really see the potential in you. But after years and years of waiting, you have to be the one that makes the sudden change happen. The King of uh, Wands energy, which came out, is a true leader who leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. This is seeing the big picture. This is being the leader. This is overcoming all the challenges and the insecurities. So that's what you have to be. And it comes with the six of wands. If you get over that, then you will be successful. And that's just the best reading that I can give you. The six of wands energy is victory, success, and public recognition. Even though you don't want the public recognition, it goes back to you having your cake and eating it too and having that rebirth and realizing why the butterfly is here and why you had to make those sudden changes, if that makes sense. And that all, in a nutshell, is where you are. Hmm, that was really good. Now I'm going to pull from the four agreements, and then I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. So the four agreements, you can put 
I mean, I'm putting the my perspective up above in the links or whatever. So you can click those for the chakras and also for the four agreements. Um, be impeccable with your words. It's just basically that. Be a white magician. Being able to manifest the things you want by word, right? Become a white magician by word. Be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. All the magic you possess is based on your words. You can cast a spell all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your words or you can release someone from a spell. We have the power to do that. But again, that also comes with you having to keep trying to help, 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 help. So the best thing that I can tell you with that is a sense, strength, and healing period and with nothing behind him. I keep telling you guys, you know, don't let people pray for you, you know, all that negative. That's a lot of the times why I sit back because if my energy is off, I don't want to give that to you because what I have going on, which is nothing really bad, it's just me trying to finish my homework, but the things that I have, I, I can have going on or somebody else can have going on in the midst of the read is opening up and sticking to you. So send strength and healing period with nothing else attached. That's it. That's all I ask you. That's all I ask I, I send to you. And that's all you should ever want to send to somebody else, whether they wronged you or not. And that's how I, I, that's how I see it. I don't wish karma. I don't send nothing back to no one else. I wish you the best. If you can do it better than me, fine. It was meant for you. So the Kunzanite is the heart chakra. Send in strength and healing. I didn't even look at that. It says unconditional love, contemplation, and introspection. The affirmation says I release outer influences and I am and am filled with divine love. The outer influences is the hot and cold, the karmic situations. Because you're filled with love. And that's it. So you're going to have your cake and eat it too. You just have to look at things in a different perspective and understand what it's like to be successful and the decisions that every leader must make and that all money isn't good money. And so you don't have to suffer or feel greedy because you're, you know, turning into a butterfly. All right, you guys, let's let this old energy go. I know I haven't did a read like this in a long time or in charge if you're still here, but I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.